So we have a, actually a certain person who's going to be getting a check tonight because they did a deal this past month, all right? Mm -hmm. So this success story is a young gentleman who came to me, uh, took our class last August, so less than a year ago, uh, and she worked with one of our other students that I didn't know about. Um, he's going to be sharing a success story real quick on how much he made, how he found a deal, how he negotiated a deal, and how much success he had already for this. So please give a warm welcome to Anthony Davis and Miss Kay. Come on up. Give them a long round of applause, guys. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Dave, uh, he was my partner. I met him here at the meeting. And then... Can you speak Yeah. Uh, Dave is... Oh, I'm sorry. I turned... <laughs> Anthony is my part. He was my partner, and then we meet here, and then um, kind of we had a contract signing contract together, and I found a deal, and uh, we just did everything together, right? And then uh, we closed the deal like uh, a week ago, and then he was helping us, so that's our first deal. We were so happy and excited. <laughs> <laughs> so. How y'all doing? Um, my name is Anthony Davis. Uh, I have a background in barbering. Uh, I went to school, college, four years, all that. Um, I met Kay at uh, one of these events uh, a while ago, um, and we, we got together and we got a deal. But um, I took the boot camp with Jan and um, Fortune Homes about, a, like Jan said, about a year. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but it, it was a good experience. Um, all I did was try not to stay, uh, try to stay positive and not have the negative thoughts. And um, I just stayed with it. Um, met Kay, and we were able to get a deal. Um, and to be honest, uh, knowing Jan, and he he helped a lot with the deal. So uh, I'm not sure if the deal would have went through without the help of Fortune Homes team. So they will work with you throughout the deal. Uh, the boot camp, we follow the format of the boot camp, so it's an official format. All you have to do is follow it, and for the most part, you will close the deal. Now, I'm going to ask a question, though. You're a barber by trade, okay, yes. and uh, you know, how, so how much was your assignment fee that you guys got from the deal? Uh, we got, we were, originally, we were supposed to get 75000 uh, from the deal. Um, some things went, you know, wrong, and we ended up with sixty five. So our first deal, we got sixty-five dollars. Sixty-five thousand dollars. So that's the first deal. So it may sound so bad. I mean, it should have been seventy-five, but we only got sixty-five. <laughs> Would you guys take sixty-five? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. So, I still remember. I'm gonna share real quick. Uh, Anthony, I remember when he, when he sent me a copy of the contract. It's our template, you know, because he got that from boot camp. Uh, we had to do a couple of tweaks, and I said, well, you know, when we send this to the title company, it needs to be a PDF, right? And uh, <laughs> so he had to, um, uh, I don't think he had a scanner at home because you were, you were in a barbershop, and I don't think barbershops have scanners. Would you agree? <laughs> okay. So I said, once you get your $65,000, that's invest in one of your barbershops so you can work while you're cutting hair, all right? <laughs> so good stuff. Give him a round of applause, guys. All right. All right. And also, this is a special letter for him with a check paying back his $799 because he had to deal with us. So congratulations, sir. All right. Good stuff. All right. Thank you very much, Dave. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Now, here's the funny thing, guys. Here's the rest of the story. Now, Anthony took our host family boot camp. Kay actually took our rehab boot camp, all right? And they didn't even know each other until they came to here. So you never know who you're going to meet to make money. If, they, if he had, you could just imagine if he had met that meetup that one night when Kay was here. Can you imagine what, what life would be like differently if he had not come to that one meetup? So that's why you never want to miss one of our events, because you never know who you're going to meet afterwards, all right? Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, so for those who are interested in that